quick one here guys today i'll be showing you how to install the gamepad driver for your wireless or wireless gamepad to make it vibrate so without further philandering let's dive into it so first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your wireless device is connected so in order to know if mine is connected or not i go to the search bar here and i type in usb or set up usb to bring this out as you can see nothing is showing there and that is because i have not plugged my usb so as you can see the name it is bringing out this is hid compliant usb game controller this is missing the driver and it is not going to vibrate let's test that out by going into one of our games folder don't forget that this is the application we use in order to make our gamepad vibrate so when i go to as you can see it is working already when i go to force feedback the strength is 100 everything maxed out then let's test it if it's going to work so now as you can see everything is maxed out but it is not vibrating it is not working at all it is just there not doing anything and that is because it is still missing a driver so let's move on with the tutorial so this is the file we need i'll leave a link in the description so everybody can download you want to open this up using your favorite zip archiver then you want to just extract everything in the folder now open it and here you see bunch of files this is for three in one gamepad this is text and vibration driver this is for shock joypad double this is shock joypad single these are the wired gamepad if you're using a wired gamepad but you want to make sure if it's a double or a single and you want to install the appropriate so i'll look for mine and that is a wireless double gamepad it's double I'll install this click on next let's turn next finish as you can see it is done let's go back to open a usb and here it is you can see that the name has changed it has now changed to twin usb game pad okay let's go to properties and this is where we won't see as you can see it has a vibration text where you can test out the vibration if it's working or not all right so let's test it out again and as you can see although the battery is weak but you can hear the sound as you can see it's vibrating so now once you open your app you want to set up all the buttons because this is a new driver you have to start everything from the beginning it's not that hard just go to auto here to detect then maybe you can set the x y b a button yourself and then you want to go to force feedback you want to enable force feedback and if it doesn't work in your games you can come back and enable the swap models the strength to 100 the second one to 200 the overall strength to 100 then you want to push the test to 100 percent and voila your gamepad will be vibrating so yes that will be the end of this video Talk to me in the comment box if this helps you and if it does not work please let me know so i can look for alternative method as well so thank you once again if you have not subscribed please consider doing that and i'll see you on the next one peace out